just kind of let you see what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm up in the Menominee shop, and if you see behind me, um, this is a tractor I'm working on. We just put auto steer in this thing. Uh, Jim Rose tractor. And uh, hooked up to it, we've got a 24 row planter. Got to work on it indoors today. So, get it hooked up to the back of the tractor here. And um, what I had to do in this is run all the wiring. You can see the wiring straddled up there. They all go underneath the center of the planter. So there's our boxes, those flashing boxes in there. Our newly installed egg leader box. And, um, so what that does is you got a seed clutch right here. The seed clutch, when it goes over an already planted area, it turns that meter off so it doesn't continue planting. We also have the seed tube sensors down on the seed meter and those are going to sense if seeds dropping out. On the monitor we can have a virtual seed trench. We also have a hydraulic drive. This assembly in here runs that drive shaft. Instead of being ground driven you can change your seed uh, population on the fly through variable rate seeding. Four rows there. And I'll show you on the monitor. So we're simulating planting right now. And this is this monitor shows us, you know, when we have seed flowing through the meters, it'll show us our seeds in a virtual seed trench right here. Tell us what our spacing looks like, if we have any doubles or triples or skips in there, singulation history, all the performance screens. And this is where our map of the field's gonna be. Turn green as we're planning. PTO on over here. And there you can see my drive. So it's telling us how we're planning at 32,000 population. Turn it up, turn it down on the go, or put in a prescription map right there. Right now, we're theoretically playing 12,000 